Hi guys, <clears throat> so here's the next video about the DM32 and I wanted to test its speed and uh, we use the DM42 as a comparison. I have prepared <coughs> um, two scenarios. The first one is the so-called collatz sequence and we do it with a start value of 2000. So we enter 2000 and do the same here. Execute. <coughs> Collar is uh, my Collar sequence program and it's absolutely identical to the one I use here on the DM32. So every line is identical. The label goes here by the name C because it allows only for one character. Okay, so I have to do three, three fingertips at the same time. Start. So you see here, they show the identical numbers at the moment. So that's quite nice. The Collard sequence is calculated only with basic arithmetic. And there are some jumps, go-tos from one label to another. So nothing very sophisticated in terms of programming. But we see that the DM42 now has a bit of an advantage. About one second ahead at the moment. Although the difference isn't that big, it's just a fraction of it. I'd say at the moment, my last test was uh, with a start number of 1000. And uh, the difference in speed was about several seconds. But that's not too much given the whole time it takes to calculate this. So now I have to pay attention, 40, 20, 10, 16, 8, 4, 2, ready, ready. So you see here, we have now 1 minute and 58 seconds rounded for the DM42, no, so one. 1 minute 56 seconds for the 42 and just about 3 seconds let's say more on the DM32 so that's quite nice. Okay next test I have prepared is uh, to calculate an integral and um, to have a a calculating time which is long enough to come to a, a conclusion. We need a um, <clears throat> starting point at minus 20 and going up to plus 20. So we enter this first. So from minus 20 till 20 on the 42 I choose x3. Uh, the formula behind it, the function which is integrated here, is e to the power of x to the power of 3. So you have first, you have to calculate x to the power of 3, and this value becomes the exponent for e. 
okay so we do the same here with the lower and upper limits so minus 20 lower limit plus 20 upper limit and with an accuracy of 0 0.001 <coughs> we get um, about the same precision on both calculators at least to my testing <laughs> okay so let's see now I have to press here the integral button but we need to prepare a bit more on the 32 with equation then pressing the integral key and now I need to press wait that's not so easy <laughs> uh, an X has to be entered here and here we have to press the function button oops come on so running we don't know how far the 32 has got but Never mind. Oops. So the first one's ready and the second one. And there we have about three seconds as a difference. So that's quite nice, I'd say. And uh, now let's compare the results. 1.89 one one on the left and one zero eight which is rounded the same uh, we can use a show and here we see that we have the eight the nine the one the zero the eight again one and a two and then they start to have a difference but I think that's quite quite good in terms of precision and the exponent to 10 is uh, exactly the same 10 to the power of 3471 yeah um, the the internal methods to calculate the integral are for sure quite different <coughs> but I wanted to test some higher math function to compare the two and uh, I think that's par so the 32 is uh, very fast and uh, very responsive so excellent calculator I'd say okay that's for today have a nice day and see you next time bye bye